Hello there fellow survivalists and welcome back to the Dark Pictures Man of Maiden. So I guess we'll just uh, move on and let's crack on. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this. Okay. The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy and like dinosaur old. Not that that's a bad thing, but she just like up and vanished on me. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? Is it a ghost ship? Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh holy shit, we're so totally fucked. I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. What do you think actually happened to this place? The goddamn mystery box is what it is. It looked like the newspaper was from 1947. Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. <sighs> this should go over well. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. No shit. Right, so... Uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. They've got to get off the damn ship, so why don't they just... You're, you're on the top deck now. Why don't they just go on the side and look for the boat, what they got into? Isn't that easier? <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Possibly. Yeah, so the, the right analog stick actually moves the the torch, which is pretty interesting. Though in some games, when you do that with your left stick to move your character like this, it just moves it all in one. Right, so what, what's this? Oh, it's a board with holes in it. Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese. Do you get it? Because, uh,. Cheese has holes in. All different types of cheese. <laughs> right, so where we're we going? Guess we're just following them. Also, going to be another jump scare. So at least we've all seen the the big creatures that are coming out of this boat now. So the best thing to do is just stick together in this case scenario, isn't it? Find a way up. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. 
Right, what's this? Oh, that is. Do you remember back in the other episode when hey, we a little help when like, a cargo here. hold and we found that coffin and then it changed like when I was saying it was Silent Hill. I think this is our and, way up. Um, Give me we a found look. the electric cable. I wonder what that was for. I don't know what the secrets are in there. Mm -hmm. Like, why would that electric cable be a secret? You know. <laughs> I'll pull you up. So we got there, so I guess we're going up the stairs. Walk up here. This is... This is where I chased comrades before. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. Thought it looked familiar. Sorry, is this going to be a jump scare? I'm not looking. <laughs> Over here. Got to wait through here. Come on. There we go. Was everyone coming here or is it just us? That's just me and him. There's a dead block there. Nice one. You're the captain. Are you going to come alive? Another door here. That's going outside though, that, isn't it? Yeah, I just stood there. Oh, picture. See what's going to happen on this. Oh dear. So she has a gun and she's going to shoot herself. Find a radio yet? Oh, they're all in here. No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of surviving. What's this? Not. It's probably like a little. Secret thing, come on, let me get it. Hello? Really? Keep spamming X. What a stupid design this is, come on. Thank you. I just kept on hitting X then. <laughs> so all that, there's nothing uh, on it. Ship was blown off Heavy course, storm blows caught it. Was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Search called off. Oh well. There's a door there, looks like we're gonna go through. Nothing over here what she's got, is there? Nope. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey! Hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Oops. Holy shit! We got him! Uh... If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. 
Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge and old. Hello, hello, is anyone out there? Please, come in. Oh dear, no power. Yo, guys, check it out. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. Oh dear. <laughs> that wasn't good. We all right? Twenty first of June. Hey, it's my birthday. Broken bones. Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay. We'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. After you. If you've got two things there, you would surely take the torch off and save the batteries. Because why do you need two two bits of light? All right, what's in here? Another bit of uh, paper here. Yep, read all that. <laughs> huh. I guess there was a guy named Joe in Sick Bay. What's this one? Some sort of altercation. Ten days of Rigged ten days approved. Wow. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. All these like notes, like the point. <laughs> they probably all mean something, like if we're playing the story. But this is a blind playthrough, so we'll just uh, I wish I could actually, you know, do whatever. Enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, uh, in any other circumstance, That's right. this place would be the coolest place to explore, like, like ever. I'm gonna say no, not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we've been here before, because didn't he fall out the cabinet? Hmm. I 
have been the son of somebody on board. Yeah. Was this at the very start when we woke up in here? I can't remember. What's she doing in here? I'm sure it was. Right, so along here, steps here. I guess we'll be dropping down. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Wait! Uh, Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. Something's gonna happen. I can... <sighs> Thinking like she's gonna break her ankle or something. Right. Let's not that far. <laughs> Shit. Oh, What's up? That it, 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 it was. Wait, wait. Did Why? You see it? Um. Hello. Okay, so I so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II, and we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here. Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years, and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I mean, maybe there was a connection? Maybe they made contact? It's a theory, I guess. Oh god. All right, let's get going. Hmm. Makes sense, like. All this isn't real. And that's why they've developed this bio weapon to do all this type of stuff. Diesel engine. Nice. Really wanted to know that. Uh, we can probably go down this way. See, there's... What I miss right now? Dry clothes? Yeah. Because that stuff there, that's what he's on about, I think. That See that? Like, the greeny, yellowy type. That's like a generator. I need something. It looks like I can go left that way. Oh, and press X and something. Hey, hey, I found it! Oh, thank God. Oh. And it's working! Gonna blow up, in it? Yeah, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. It's not gonna be that easy, love. I can guarantee you. Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. Lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over. Please state your situation. Over. We need help now. There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over. Recovery mission is on route to your location. Over. Oh, come on, work, damn it. We just have to find our way up now. See, he's still got his torch and she's got the light lantern. Use the lantern first. Oh, scuba gear. Look at this. The rebreather. The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes. Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just going to slow us down. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. Could be a lifesaver. Got a point, like you want to take it, even though it's heavy. Then if shit does hit the fan, then drop it. Oh, 
putain d'or J'ai perdu la tête Pourquoi Non Je t'en prie Non Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur Ferme ta gueule de merde Tu dis n'importe quoi Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Ah Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. Oh, fuck. These same things now. <laughs> I think he just went a bit crazy there and killed him. Why would he do this? We have to be very careful. He's crazy as a shit house rat. Wait. I think we should try to avoid that. Yeah. You're trying to avoid it, but it's like all over this bloody uh oh, took it off. Run. Oh inspect. You little foot. <laughs> What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? Here we go. You can't have oh, it's a bit fast, this one. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. He's breathing down our necks. Please tell me you have an escape plan. We can't risk moving yet. Just need to watch and wait for an opening. Americans have smashed their way into a foreign land and come up short. The generators are on. The gold is mine, and now I'm the one who gets to smash. Me! With my big fucking armor! Yes. <laughs> oh god. So intense I was concentrating. I try and make it harder by putting like the actual camera movement shaking quite a bit as well. To try and put you off. Oh, that's what I noticed. But I don't know understand why we didn't see us anyway, because we were only stood there. <laughs> Please tell me we're 
safe. Oh. Yeah, totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of... Stuff. Well, he's got a point. A sledgehammer can't break through thin, like metal like that, a door. But... Okay. What the hell is this? Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said no changing. Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Ha! Not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't There's it. someone behind him there. Oh, he's Don't gone. The mist. I expect someone to go behind him. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? I haven't breathed any weird mist. Please, I promise. Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Okay, all right, look, there was, you know, something back there. Uh, maybe a mist or fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, look, we held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Wait, 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 wait. We have a rebreather from our boat. What? We've been using it to get the mist out of us. You know, we could use it on you too, okay? No, 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 no. You keep that thing away from me. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's amazing. Well, it's the same who shot himself in that picture. I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. No, no. I, 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 I can't see it. You're all right, man. There's no mist. Stop. Stop lying. You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying. The mist is inside. Keep me alive! Uh. Hey, man, come on. Just put the. Oh, fucking shit. This got a gun. Surely you'll get the gun as well. Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. I'm gonna hang back here as well. Here we go. 
Who's that? Oh, it's him. by the radio. We need someone to keep listening. Aye, aye, Cap. I saw the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. You gotta go after him. There he is. He's behind us. Because I'm sure that bloke in the last one, there was... Someone behind him. Joe looked up at the very last bit of the of the last episode in this. The the one who shot himself in the head with the gun. I'm sh when he was on about the mist, I'm sure there was a, like there was a figure it's just stood there. What are you doing? Oh no, what's that? Does it matter? We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. <sighs> Holy crap. Look at that shit. There's holes all over, isn't it? It's gonna be... Pop a tripping out, isn't he? Sure. Quick time event, I bet, yeah. If we don't do this, this is where you can probably kill him. So basically what, we've, what we know now is that what are you doing? Oh he's dead. I'm not gonna make this jump. So what we know is it's a biological weapon. There's none of these zombies or anything like that, it's all hallucinations. That's what it is. Sorry, so I can't go that way. So everything that we're seeing is all hallucinations from the char different characters that we've got. And obviously this bi biological weapon makes... <laughs> obviously this biological weapon that's been exposed is just making everyone crazy. Like a washroom there. Huh? Sort of not. Top secret intelligent not. Wow. Right. Where are we going? We came this way though, didn't we? Um, go back here. So this is the room what we just came in. Nothing else in here apart from that note, isn't there? It's not over there. Ah. You. Fuck. Ugh. 
Disgusting. Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky. But he's got that thing there, hasn't he, that we need for the boat? Oh, there it is. Don't leave that thing there. <laughs> Shit. What the freak? It's not real, mate. It's not not there. It's fake. Does <gasps> he stabbed himself? What happened here? Oh, really? The aliens in there. Once. See, if we did that, we would have stabbed ourselves. Because we know that it's all hallucination. And that's not real. I can guarantee you we would have stabbed ourselves then. That's what I've got to think about now, was it's all fake. Yeah, he's all right now. Well, we don't know if it's her or not now, do you? But she was with us. I think it was her, wasn't it? Oh dear. Okay. Guess it's time to see if it's working. You'd go back though, wouldn't you? And get her. If he's told them that she's dead, you would all go back and pick her up, wouldn't you, for your friend? You wouldn't just leave her on that boat. Oh well. That fucker that took her boat, I thought there was gold. He wanted the gold. That's all this was about. Venturian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. 
you know, I just keep going over it and over it. And it doesn't make any sense, you know. Just, and I know what I saw. I just don't believe in whatever it was that I saw. I saw Alex. It wasn't Alex, it was someone else. But they looked just like Alex, and he was sneering at me. That's it, game over. You're done, for now at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here. Whoa. What the hell is this? 